All right, so I got a video idea to make a video going over all of my gear, my talents, um, and my glyphs. So I'm going to do that. So we'll start with gear. For Holy Paladins, I'm using Valor's Redemption. Everything except for the clothes. So for the head, we're using the 10 MP5 enchantment from Wormrest Accord. Um, that one requires reputation, and you can get the tabard. And you can look up a reputation guide. It's super easy. You just get the tabard, and you do you do dungeons. Um, the next is the neck, which I got from. Nax Ram is either 25, I'm pretty sure it's 25 man, and it drops off of a lot of bosses. So it's pretty common, you'll get it in your first or your second run. But it's got crit and haste, which are the top two secondary stats for holy. Then we've got Valorous Redemption uh, Spalders. So we've got another crit haste piece. And... Uh, on the enchant, you go to Sons of Hodir, which is a quest line in Northrend Storm Peaks, and you go to K3. The guide on Wowhead, it's really complex, and it does it wastes a lot of time if you try to read it. What I figured out is you just go to K3, you do all these quests, and then this area gets unlocked, and then you just do these quests. And then you get the reputation to buy the shoulder enchant. That's literally all you got to do. Go to K3, do those quests, and then go to Dunniflum. The end. Um, on the cloak, you got to either find an enchanter, which is... The cloak enchant is super easy. Like, every enchanter that levels past 400 is going to have this enchant. So you might as well not even tip them. Um, 23 haste, just because haste is the best secondary stat... Um, with crit following after haste. So you just go with maximum haste on the cloak and you're good to go. And of course the cloak has critical strike and haste. So now we're looking at the Valor Redemption tunic. We're getting it for the four piece. Four piece is everything. It's 5% reduction on holy light. Um, just saves a lot of mana. Wowhead's saying it's like 200 something mana per five. But whatever, I don't, I'm not going to even try to calculate it. Uh, yeah, and, and of course this one has mana per five, which is the worst secondary stat for Holy Paladins. Um, you don't need mana per five, uh, at least not in phase one. Maybe in phase two, but probably not. Like crit, crit still has the Luminot, Luminot, what is this? Crit still has uh, Illumination, so you're still getting mana per 5 off Crit. So might as well just stack Crit. Um, so we're going to Betment Bracers, you get that off a of 10-man uh, Neru uh, uh, whatever the Nerubian boss is in Naxxramas, the Scarab boss. But uh, you get the 16 enchant for Intellect, and I need to replace this gem, that's for sure. Um, but always go with the color of the gem. So if it's blue, put purple or blue. Um, same goes with red and yellow. Just put for the color so you get the socket bonus. Don't do what Wowhead does where it stacks just all yellow and uh, all yellow gems. Um, except for the ones for uh, activating the meta, because you need to you need to keep your meta gem active with all the. Uh, gem color requirements. So they do that on Wildhead as well, but they also just stack uh, 16 intellect gems, which is It's not you're not going to get the socket bonuses. That's all I'm saying And on the gloves we've got rescinding grips. These are just really 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 good. They just got high stats so I just chose this as the piece to not have for the um, tier because you only need four pieces for the uh, two-piece tier bonus or I mean the, the the four piece tier bonus. And the enchant is um, 
an engineer enchant, which is really easy and cheap to get. Um, it should only cost you about 30 gold to have an engineer make this. Um, but you just have this, and you can activate it using a macro. So you go to macros, and I've got it macro to flash of light right here and oops and holy light no yeah oh. so you just uh every time I cast flash of light or holy light it'll activate the gloves and there you go see haste increase and my haste value with that active is 27%, which is very high. Oh, now it's 17%. But uh, haste is just good for pal pa holy palms. Uh, belt. Uh, we've got haste, mana for five. I haven't really found any other good belts, so I'm just using this one for now. Um, 19 spell power gem. That's just pretty common on the auction house. It's it's like 70 or 80 gold right now. Um, make sure you get the belt buckle. It's like 18 gold. Um, really cheap. You just search belt buckle on the auction house and you'll get it. Legs, Valor's Redemption. Um, 50 spell power, 30 stamina. That was like 300 gold when I bought it. And it's got crit haze. It's just really good. It's just tier everything you need. Boots Feeling Energies, I think this drops off in Malagos. Um, uh, it's just got good stats. It's got a lot of mana per five. It's like 33 mana per five. I mean, like, geez louise, man. <laughs> it's like twice as much as what most of these other pieces that have mana per five even have. Like, this is a chest, and it only has 25, and these are boots, and it has 33. So, yeah, they're, they're still good for their spell power and all that. Um... These rings are just really high item level. They just have high stats. So I'm just wearing them for right now. I might replace this Argent Crusade ring. Um, I don't know what else, what else to say about that. It's got haste, spell power, all your stats. It's just it's, I think it's like 200 item level, so you want a 213 if you can find one. Um, Soul Preserver, you need Soul Preserver out of... Culling of Stratholm. As soon as you can enter Stratholm, I think it's like 72. Once you're 72, you just run Culling of Stratholm normal until you get this item, and then you can leave it. But once you don't have, like, it, when you don't have this item, you can't cast Holy Light as much. That's basically what it comes down to, and Holy Light is going to just make your healing parses go way higher. You're going to hit, like, five-digit healing parses, like 16k, 18k on Resuvius if you can do it right. That's what the some guild, some guilds have been doing at, on Warcraft logs. But that's Soul Preserver, and it drops off the end boss in Calling of Stratholme on normal. Um, this is Fourth Talisman, which is a 213 item level uh, item. I think it drops either off of Kel'Thuzad or Saffron, but it's um, a very good healing item. It just adds a uh, HO, HOT on the target. Um, it has no, it has uh, a separate internal cooldown, so it um, it applies heals at a good rate, and it also just has a lot of spell power, 111. Um, for the weapon, we're using Hammer of the Astral Plane that drops off of Kel'Thuzad on 10 man. Um, the 30 Intellect Enchantment drops off of a mob in Outland in Netherstorm. Uh, I think either down here or somewhere around here, but it's like a, a blood elf, and you have to find him and kill him. It's that, or it's like a blood elf or a goblin, but you gotta kill him. It dropped really quickly for me, but it's got like a four or five percent drop chance, I think. But the thirty intellect enchantment is bis for this weapon, for this spec, and for um, probably most casters. Um, Shield of Assimilation, I think that dropped off of either 10 man, Nax Ramus, off of most bosses. Yeah, I think that's 10 man. Um, I haven't really found a better shield yet. 
it's just uh, it's got mana per five and haste, so I'm using it for right now. And Liber of Renewal, um, you can get that in Dalaran in the vendor. I think it's the um, I think yeah, like the Silver Enclave right in here. I think it's like 25 25 uh, honor what is it? Emblem of Heroism that's what it is. And that's it for the gear. So on talents this is what we're doing. Um, spiritual focus basically we're not taking anything that doesn't um, directly increase healing value. So pure of heart, that's just all cleanse. Uh, we're not doing none of that. Um, blessed hands, uh, improved lay on hands. Lay on hands is good. You should have it like on a like a quick cast hot bar. But you're going to basically heal for the amount that you would heal for a holy light. So it's only good if you're like running. Like if you're like running to the target and you cast it, that's when it's most valuable. Because then you can't stop and cast holy light. Um, yeah, all, all, all the anything that makes your holy lights and flashlights do more value, that's what you want. Because that's all you're going to be casting as a holy paladin for most of the fights. Because if you're not, you're not going to be putting the numbers up, and that's the name of the game. Um, yeah, we're not doing none of this sacred cleansing, none of this purifying power. And of course you need Beacon of Light, um, we'll get to that in a second, here we'll just get to it right now. Beacon of Light, we're doing Glyph of Beacon of Light, just because a uh, one thirty second um, Beacon of Light is much better than a one minute uh, Beacon of Light. So you're not casting it so many times and clicking it so many times. Um, so we went over the Holy Tree, we're going over Prot. Prot, all we're doing is Divinity, you just put five points in Divinity, and then our last points in Guardian's Favor, and then on Retribution, we're just taking points until we get Pursuit of Justice for the 15% movement speed increase. Because you need speed whenever you're doing anything. Um, so that's the talents and on Glyphs. Um, you should definitely get uh, Cliff of Holy Light as soon as you are, like, I think it's like 68 or 70 that you can get Glyphs. So as soon as you can, you get Glyph of Holy Light. Or maybe, I don't know, like 30? I don't know. And uh, the minor glyphs, the only ones that do anything are Glyph of Leon Hands and Glyphs of Sense Undead. Because the other glyphs are like a cast time increase for uh, the blessings. So I chose Blessing of Wisdom since I've already specced in Blessing of Wisdom, Improved Blessing of Wisdom. Um, and then I chose Glyph of Seal of Light instead of Glyph of uh, Seal of Wisdom. Just because you can just switch between these seals. It's like a one second instant cast, so you might as well just, just switch into Seal of Wisdom whenever you're low on mana and then melee attack. And then switch back into Seal of Light. Because when you don't have Glyph of Seal of Light, you are now missing 5% of uh, just total heal value that you could have had. So that's why I'm running Seal of Light instead of Glyph of Seal of Wisdom. Um, let's see, I think that's everything. Um, Maybe consumes. So these are just some old consumes. I don't know. I need to play some of these. Uh, Glyph of the Frostworm is pretty good. Might as well get one of these. Uh, Elixir of Lightning Speed is probably abyss, and Elixir of Mighty, Mighty Thoughts is probably abyss. You want these two elixirs. These are the two main stats you want to be boosting. Um, and you want Runic Mana Potions, and probably get Runic Mana Injectors, I'll probably look into that. Anyways, that's it, thanks for watching, bye.